That horrific scene playing out today, the last week of school, and then it happened. A gunman walking into an Oregon high school, heading straight for that locker room, opening fire, killing one student, others running for cover, including a teacher who was hit and survived. Then that scene that's sadly become all too familiar, students streaming out, hands in the air, and this tonight, a mountain of backpacks left behind as the students fled. At this hour, we're learning more about the students who survived, some who heard the gunfire while they were in the gym, others who barricaded themselves in. ABC's David Wright is there tonight. 8.05 this morning in Troutdale, Oregon. Sirens blaring, police respond to a high school's call for help. Priority call, Reynolds High School. Got a report of shots fired in the locker room. At least one person down, medical is responding. Police on site within minutes, guns drawn, and a SWAT team. Students filing out, hands in the air, their bags searched by law enforcement. I was really scared. I was like, oh, like this is happening, like this is real. Witnesses say the gunman, armed with an assault rifle, started the shooting in a locker room near the gym, chasing a beloved phys ed teacher down the hall. He was carrying a gun running after one of our teachers, our PE teacher, Mr. Rispler who actually ended up getting shot. Cameron and Caden were right inside the gym. The second shots, it sounded they were really loud and really close. Our friend Tate was banging on the door saying, there's a guy with a gun, there's a guy with a gun, let us in. So we let him in and we sprinted to the um, our, weight our weight training room and we hid in there. A hundred students huddled together behind locked doors, terrified, many texting their parents. And while we hid in there, we were, everybody was, be quiet, there's a shooter. This is not a, this is not a drill. The school locked down for nearly an hour. Over the intercom, they said this is a real lockdown. Turn the lights off, stay quiet, no cell phones. Worried parents waited outside for news of their kids. I know everybody's nervous, wants to get to their kids. Um, we just don't want a mad rush, and we got to count for everybody. One student was killed by the shooter. The victim remembered tonight by friends. Wrote me a letter one time, just telling me how he wants me to smile because he liked my smile, and it just. I can't imagine it without him. Tonight, police say that the shooter was a teenage male. No word yet whether he was a student at this high school. Authorities say they found him slumped in a bathroom stall and sent in a robot to confirm that he is dead. As for the PE teacher he shot, he's okay. Thankfully, he suffered only minor injuries. David? All right, David Wright leading us off tonight. David, thank you.